Welcome to Character Select. My name is Dave, and with me today is Tyler. And we're back to adventuring with a game that neither of us it. have ever played. I love adventure. Early in the 21st century, the Tyrell Corporation advanced robot evolution into the Nexus phase of being virtually identical to a human known as a replicant. The Nexus 6 replicants were superior in strength and agility, and at least equal in intelligence to the genetic engineers who created them. Replicants were used off-world as slave labor in the hazardous exploration and colonization of other planets. After a bloody mutiny on, by a Nexus 6 combat team in an off-world colony, replicants were declared illegal on Earth under penalty of death. Special police squads, Blade Runner units, had orders to shoot to kill, upon detection, any trespassing replicant. This was not called execution. It was called retirement. Which yeah, put, a, put a nice word on anything, and anything is acceptable. Oh no. Oh no. We're right in the middle of COVID right now. Yeah. Look, this is what happens under COVID right here. <laughs> Thanks, Obama. <laughs> So it's worth pointing out that I have not seen Blade Runner in its entirety, nor have I seen Blade Runner 2049. Um, but this game is so incredibly highly acclaimed that I felt like we had to do it. I think we'll figure it out one way or another. Yeah. There's not like it's highbrow stuff. I'm now. Lucy, my sweet. I cleaned out the tiger cage and sorted all the meal bins. Why does she look so, so small? It's all right. It's my turn to fix dinner. D uh, haven't you forgotten something, little one? Just one little thing. Mr. Runcer, please. It's been a very long day. I don't uh. want to. Now, Lucy, I thought we'd settled this last week. Don't let's forget who pays your salary. We're closed. Come back tomorrow. Wait, I haven't finished with you. I told you, we're closed. We're not here to buy, little man. We've come to sell. You can't possibly have anything to interest me. These are extremely rare animals of the highest quality. What a coincidence. So am I. That is the price for humanity. Oh, please, don't. And what else might we interest you in today, sir? Perhaps some virtue. No, oh, God! Not Why? Animals, please. I'm begging you. But what? Of honor, little man. At what price? Honor. Oh my god, no! That tiger is the rarest specimen ever seen. Tiger, tiger, burning bright. The forest of the night. BR 61661, report to precinct headquarters. There are a lot of shit happening really quick. <laughs> I was just finishing up my 12 out on patrol when I got the call. Welcome relief, considering that the most action I'd seen all night was a schizoid grandmother doing the shimmy in her underwear in the second sector. <laughs> That's a sentence? Yep. These shots are actually pretty amazing for, and I'm not even kidding, 1997. It looks like 1997. Last time I had a three was when some hooker vomited Thunderbird on Bryant's desk, and yours truly led the cleanup crew. Year and a half on the job, it was still the dirtiest work I'd seen. Where's Captain Bryant? Took a sick day. Got himself a heinous case of tomain poisoning. He asked me personally to run the unit in his absence. Guzo was one of the old-time guys who took their knocks in the streets. He had a friendly way about him. But you didn't want to turn your back on him if you were less than a friend. Hope you've been enjoying your leisure time, kid. Because it's time to take that thumb out of your ass. That is the biggest Hallelujah. fucking... Is Don't that a cigar or an energy bar? Blade Runners I think it's a candy bar. Because he's not holding it like a cigar. He's yeah, holding it like, you know, the... Breaking and steals whatever. Working special undercover. Gotcha. It looks like you got this one by default. You really know how to make a girl feel wanted. Animal murder done at Runciter Zoological. 
Probably just be a schizoid glitz, but we got the call. Old man Runciter lost something like a billion chinions worth. Ten to one, this ain't a job for rep detect. You got something better to do? Perfect your French cooking, maybe? This just Lemon's keeps nice fucking man. going. Holy crap. I know. I thought you were on special assignment. Wasn't too damn special after I had the suckers out. What happened? A couple of fours were masquerading as fibroplast insulators down at Kaiser. I dressed up like a nurse. They never had a chance. I'll bet. You put them on the machine? Hell no. There's a beautiful little thing in here called the magic, and it ain't ever been wrong. You develop it, you got a brilliant career ahead of you. I'm working on it. What's Guza got you doing tonight? A.M. at Runciter's. Animal murder. Oh, those skin jobs got no respect for anything that truly lives and breathes. And that goddamn Eldon Tyrell ought to be zipped into a body bag and flushed into deep space. Get rid of him, we'd be out of a job. <laughs> I think we're all overdue for a little off-world paid vacation. You can stop staring at my ass now. You got eyes in the back of your head? All you gotta do is ask, Slim. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's still going? Fuck! <laughs> animal sales was a profitable and prestigious business since most real animals gift that keeps on giving. after the Terran War. There were plenty of electric ones, though, powered by rechargeable batteries. No self-respecting human would own one of those frauds. Okay, we're finally in the game. Cool. Uh... Accuse that lady we just saw. <laughs> Jacuz. K I -N. Jacuz. Uh, clues. That just cycles through tabs. Okay. Options. What? Oh, so you can. I, I do know a couple of things about this game, despite the fact that I've never played it. You can choose how you respond in various discussions. Mm -hmm. um, which is, uh, you can be friendly, you can be... I think this... Yeah, it's hold on. Polite. Polite. Normal. Surly. Erratic. <laughs> or user oh, choice. Boy. So, <laughs> I think we got to go with user choice at this point. I mean, it has to be. Um, like, it's an adventure game. Of course you have to be user choice. Right. What? Because then it's just a visual novel. Oh. Bullets? What? Okay. Unlimited supply of bullets. And we got 100 chin yen, which I guess is money. Yeah, that's what they said. Okay. Um, so... Just before we get too far into this game here, I'm just going to talk about this for a second. So this game was made by Westwood Studios, who are very famous for making what game series? Sam and Max? Nope. Command and uh, Conquer. Yeah, I was never going to get that. I know. It's such a weird departure, but they made this game. This game came out in 97, and it was so incredibly acclaimed as an adventure game, and I never played it because I was 14 at the time, and I didn't have the ability to buy my own shit. Um, you also didn't give a shit about Blade Runner. Ooh, I have a gun. Cool. Um, this is an adventure game, but the most important thing about this game is that all of the characters that you run into may or may not be replicants, obviously. Right. But they're chosen randomly as you when you start the game. Mm-hmm. So you actually have to pay attention to the clues and determine who is a replicant and who is not. Who is a replicant? So, that's th that's the reason that we're playing this game, because even a walkthrough can't help you, necessarily. Right. What do you know? About 30 counts of animal murder and one of aggravated assault. The shop's been thrashed. You ought to see this tiger cub they got in there. It's a goddamn tragedy. How's old man Runciter holding up? State of shock, he's been moaning and complaining about his world caving in. You'd feel the same way if they were your animals. How many perps? At least two. Bloody footprints all over the scene. Must be a delightful sight. Also, from what I understand, this takes place simultaneously to the actual 1982 Blade Runner movie. 
Um, but Judge, it doesn't from intersect the with that. Between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other appeared a lot more controlled, graceful even. Quite a pair. Um, and hmm. also, there's no subtitles in this game, so we actually kind of do have to pay attention when they're talking. Yep. Uh, so green means we can click on it. I guess we'll talk to this guy. McCoy, LPD. I'm absolutely certain Lucy Devlin was involved in this heinous act. She's the young girl who works for me. She's responsible for all this mayhem? No, of course not. It was two men acting in concert with her, obviously. Obviously? What'd they look like? Big and scary and absolutely malevolent. My Helpful. precious one. She was my baby. Big caliber, possibly off-world combat weaponry. Ballistics might give me a fix on it. Okay. I'm ruined. Totally ruined. But what? That looks like a reflection. What about that table leg right there? Directly in front of you. Uh, right here? Right here. Yeah, that little, the little, no, yeah, the little thing with the gold cap on the end. Nope. Can you not click on that? Doesn't look like it. What about whatever that dead thing is in that cage there? Nope. Not that one, the one right next to you. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Well, they shot Harambe. Oh, no! That picture I on the wall there. Ruined. Totally ruined. The right. Do we need to question him some more? I think we need to question him know. some more. Talk uh, to oh, him. Oh, yeah, okay. Can you think of anything they might have been after? First, I thought they wanted money, but I don't keep any in the shop. Then I thought they wanted to steal my animals, but they started executing them. Could they have been replicants? Who else would be capable of such barbaric acts? I mean, he did lift them off the ground, so... You ever yeah. do any business with the replicant manufacturers, Tyrell Corporation? I resent that accusation. Just wondering. Officer, last May I personally sold Governor Kolvig an exquisite Perseron cult. I have been a guest at his house on three separate occasions. Sorry, Do exquisite I what look coat? Like I need to carry artificial product. Bergeron Colt? I think totally he said. Ruined. I'm not sure. Um, Stick around. I may not be finished with you. I'm not done. Okay. Um, the uh, the Tyrell Corporation. They're going to mention the break-in at the Tyrell Corporation, which is the actual plot of the 1982 Blade Runner movie, but I've never mm -hmm. seen it, so I have no idea what tell that means. Tell me about this Lucy. There's not a lot I can tell you. She's only worked for me for about a month. She's about 14 years old with pink hair. Oh. Uh, Alright, I immediately don't How'd like this her? guy. Ooh. She came to me with a reference from Ogilvy's in the Northwest Zone, and he's a very reputable wholesaler. To treat her well? As well as any young tot should be treated. She got a desk? Or someplace where she worked? She used to eat over there. My precious one. Okay, now I can she go over was there. My baby. Who? You got any discs from that camera? It's irrelevant. Those murderers also destroyed the camera. Thousands of chinyans worth. But maybe it photographed them before they shot it out. Mm, I guess you've got a point at that. Yeah. Don't dismiss it out of hand until you look. Dingus. Old man dingus with your creepy child diddling proclivities. Yeah, it's not okay, dude. Really not okay. What? What is, what is happening here right now? I don't know. Is he like... I believe that this was weird. is the disc from last night. Peachy. Thanks. I, what about sure. that desk over there? Uh, that's in the back, so I think I that's where we're going yeah. next. Ruined. Totally ruined. Sure, dude. No. What? That, that was actually kind of cool. Uh, what the fuck is that thing? Hmm. A toy dog. Okay. Okay. What about that thing? A candy bar. Yuck. So that's like the thing that that guy was eating. I guess. That poster is amazing. Monkeys! Wow, isn't that cute? What is this? How we Pen of some kind? Chinatown. I'd eaten there myself. 
I th- chopsticks. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The chopstick wrapper. Got it. Candy. Howie Lee's in Chinatown. I'd eaten there myself. Howie Lee's. Okay. Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other appeared a lot more controlled, graceful even. Quite a pair. Judging from the about thirty counts of animal. I'm absolutely. Okay, we can't look at the video. Big caliber, until we take it to some place that has a uh, ballistics might camp, give me a fix on it. Uh, right. Playback device. Boy, dog. Okay. Okay, so these are the clues that are connected with this. All right, I'm kind of this, this crim. This crim. And if we jump to suspect, we have to figure out where they are, what their their MO was, modus operandi, whether they're a replicant or not, and then other. Okay. Well, those are clue filters. Right. So, other, Graceful Footprints is other. Okay. Shell casings is MO, whereabouts we don't know. And then there's the other one. Interesting. Lucy. Okay, so we've got two suspects and Lucy. That we need to find. Okay. Step one. It's time for the Dave save. Animal crims. Animal crims. <clears throat> okay. Wait, what can you click on? Uh, just myself so far. No. Huh. And it doesn't look like there's anything else. Is there not, like, a key you can press to highlight stuff? I don't know. Is there? I don't know. Walk, run. More clicks will make McCoy run faster. It's keyboard shortcuts. Scroll down. Activate key occlude database system, which is what we're doing. Enter. Nope. 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 No. Okay. Cool. We oh. gotta do, like, actual pixel hunts. Great. <laughs> the guy's name is McCoy. Yep. So if everybody can be a replicant, maybe you yourself can be a replicant. That is, in does fact, that a possibility. Have, does that mean we have to figure out whether you are the I real McCoy? <sighs> Do we have anything else to ask this guy? You're not even going to re- respond to that, See huh? See if you can dig up that reference from Ogilvy's. Yes, it's somewhere here. Just a moment. You gonna walk all the way around the room again? Well, I tried. I mean, he did walk all the way around the cage to give you that disc. What the fuck is with this dude? He's kind of weird. She came to me with a reference from Ogilvy's in the Northwest Zone, and he's a very reputable wholesaler. Okay. All right, so we want to talk to Oglebees Stick if we around. want to find Lucy. I think yeah, we'll stay c- here in the room full of dead animals that you loved. It didn't add up. Animal murders, the lack of any theft, the small animals alone were worth a good chunk of change on the street. It seemed more like an act of vengeance. What could this be? Uh, find what something? could it be? Piece of chrome from a car. No, I think it's horse chrome. Tag it and tag it. <laughs> Sorry, what chrome? I think it's horse chrome. Because <laughs> the guy was like, oh, is it from a car? No, you idiot. <laughs> oh, okay, I got it. Scratches uh, and paint flex, and I knew what they meant. Unless the city had bought a jet black fire truck, somebody had a big fat traffic ticket coming. Find anything else out here? Zilcho. Row actions inside. Abstract art. All over the walls and ceiling. I never did appreciate nice. art. Find anything else out here? All right. Okay. Okay, I guess we get in our car? We'll talk to the bystanders, of course. Canvas the area. Maybe somebody had his eyes open. I'm on it. Yeah, you look like you're on it. Well, he's actually taking out a notepad and talking to people, so I guess he is. It would be raining. It was always raining in Blade Runner. 
That's what I understand. I'm just gonna wait and see if this actually yields anything or if he just is in a looping animation. Looping animation. Find anything else out here? This woman says she saw that kid who worked for Runson or hanging around with a big fat guy last week. Big fat guy? Hmm. Okay. Find anything else out here? Zilcho. Okay. Okay. So. This woman says she saw that kid who worked for Runson or hanging around with a big fat guy last week. Big fat guy. Got it. Fat big guy. Soul fat guy. Soul fit guy. Okay. McCoy's apartment. Mm -hmm. Police station. Chinatown. Or Runciter's Animals. Well, Runciter's Animals is where we is. Yeah. We got the Chinese uh, food wrapper. Or the chopstick wrapper. So we go to Chinatown. To I guess. It doesn't seem like I much don't of a lead, but... I mean, do we have, like, a limited amount of time to do this? Like, a limited amount I, of... Um... I don't believe so. Okay. Real sushi was a luxury reserved only for the elite, since most sea life had become radioactive after the Third Terran War. The rest of us had to eat new sushi, soya mixed with off-world lichen. Ew, new sushi sounds awful. Yeah, well, I mean... I'd rather McCoy, eat death than radioactive sushi. I want to ask you a couple of questions. Sorry, my man. I just don't got the time. Got to mix more out back. Okay. Beautiful Use night. Use some hot it? nudes. When business driving, night always beautiful. I mean, that's fair, I suppose. Maybe don't pull out uh, your gun. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> dang. <laughs> Not what I intended to Jesus. do. Jesus. <laughs> Scratches and paint. Shut up. Uh, chopstick. <laughs> it's like you the didn't want town. to answer my questions. You shall die. This from your place, isn't it? Could be. Chopstick come from Yoshi's restaurant supply. How long has that chef worked for you? Zubin? Just month. Superior chef makes all kinds of new suits. What's real fresh tonight? Special shipment of Toro just arrived. I fix you right up. No one else. Clean as a whistle. Your prince, Howie. Alright, hold on a second. I gotta fucking turn that down a little bit. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's so loud. A little loud, yeah. Alright. See anything else that looks interesting here? No, but the guy mentioned like he got it from some f um, restaurant supply company. Right. See you later, Howie. Oh, and whatever that zappy noise is annoying. I. All right, jump into the pot. <laughs> I can't jump into the pot. Wrong That's not button. on fire. I keep... I right-click to open up the menu, and it's just fucking not that. You're dead to me now. <laughs> <laughs> Food crims. Hey, bud. Yeah, I mean, new sushi is a crime against food, but... You know. sure. you're a master chef. You not come back here. Air bad. This will only take a minute. I'm looking for a girl about 14 years old with pink hair. You seen her? I Big fat guy. Know her. Big fat guy. Stick around. I might want to talk to you later. Yeah, he's totally not going to skip town just because you told him not to. All right, there is one thing that I know you can do in this game. I'm not sure <clears throat> how to do it. Mm hmm. And that is applying the Voight Kampf test. But I don't think we can do it unless. We probably have to get the machine from the um, police department. Maybe. Because there's a big machine that you have to use. Uh. Alright, we'll be back, dude. Because it's like this thing that, like, scans, like, their retina or whatever and yeah. measures, like, response to um, certain You're a pretty specific smart questions. Cat. You wanna make some money? Pay me large. You got my rapt attention. Depends on how much the information's worth. Unfortunately, my man, I got a bug. 
dynamite dining, old man. Catch you later. What the fuck is this guy? Excuse me, pal. Shoot him. <laughs> draw him. Take the shot. Oop, not what I wanted to do. Are you taking any drugs? What the fuck kind of question is that? Dude, you are like the worst cop so far. <laughs> are you taking drugs? Have you considered the wacky tobacco? Are you on drugs? God, the visuals in this game are just fucking incredible. For 1997. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we got a lot of clues and not a lot to go on. Well, we can turn in that um, thing to ballistics, the gunshot thingy we do, we do. Yeah. Uh, first floor. Yes. Super fast elevator. Like it. Hey, pal. What? Hey, pal. What the fuck was that? I don't know. Run faster! I'm gonna fucking go. Hello? Oh, it's that guy from earlier. Mr. Candyman. Bryant, go on permanent leave and you get full use of the office, Lieutenant? You know the procedure. Dump it all in the mainframe upstairs and I'll read it later. You got it. Okay. So we don't actually report to him. We dump go upstairs all of our and dump everything. Yeah. <sighs> Give it to some stupor computer. Okay. I would imagine that the manual would probably be very helpful. <laughs> Maybe. I don't even know if I have one. Violent street crime in the city rose again last year by a whopping 26%, according to Resident the Evil from the Department of Justice. Governor Colvig attributed the change to the dramatic increase McCoy in the number of citizens. McCoy Zero, Decker Ten, <laughs> registered as city residents, what? and promised oh, a tough room. new set of is standards. That like, old yeah, it's like of isn't like files, psychic notices, and shit. Memos, the usual station junk. A thing in Blade Runner. I guess. Lucky strikes. Crystal's brand. I knew she was spending a lot of time in the training maze these days, even though she'd already gotten close to a perfect score. Actually, I don't think so. All right. Maybe I'm thinking of Looper with oh. psychics in there. Uploading personal clue database. Oh. All right. That was easy. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. Cool. Cool. We did it. That doesn't tell us anything. What about the... Yeah, there we go. This is Crystal Steel, badge number BR61354. Still working the explosion at the Tyrell manufacturing plant. It'll take a day or so to analyze the debris, but there's no doubt in my mind that we're dealing with a bomber here. Right now, it looks like the protesters had nothing to do with it. They were in too close proximity to have been in on the deal. No MOs or identities are rolling up just yet, and I'm still going through the inset files to see if any replicant munitions experts are unaccounted for. I'm sorry, hmm. did you just say that the explosion at the Tyrell factory was definitely a bomber? As opposed to... What, exactly? <laughs> like some... Uh, psycho... Uh, I guess... Protester or something? Work for you? Zubin? Just month. Superior ship. Makes all kinds of new suits. Oh, suits. Do we not have a camera? Apparently not. Did I lose fucking ten dollars? How did I lose ten dollars? Does it cost you money to go places? I don't think so. Oh. Oh, Esper is the computer. The Got it. Go oh, that's right. Oh. Images found. Adding enhanceable photographs to Kaya database. Enhance. Runsetter crime scene. Alright. Enhance. What are we enhancing? 
Because you can only enhance um, the sector, right? What's the blue thing over there? No, uh, what's the TV screen say? Okay. It's just a tiger? That's just a tiger. Okay. Well, that's a pretty cool system. Yeah, I kind of like that. Oh, can we enhance further? Mm, nope. Not really. But now we're like playing CSI. I guess click on... What are you doing? No, it's, okay, it's not doing anything. How do I go back? back? I don't know. Click on the bottom right. Okay. It did. All right, what about that thing about... Yeah, let's, let's look at this guy. God, every time I hear that noise, I think of, like, freaking... What's it? Uh, family Feud. I mean, I guess. Okay, we can't enhance further here. Harambe. Rip and pepperonis. Rip and pepperonis. Maybe there's something on her desk? No, oh, there is something on her desk. A sushi what is that? From Howie Lee's. Give me a hard copy of that. Okay. Well, we did it, and there's a book that wasn't there. Right, but we can't see what the book is. There's something on the cover. Well, I'm just saying there's a book there that wasn't there when we got there. Right. Uh, it's nothing. Uh, it's just snake. A snake. Okay, I All think right. that's... What about the other picture? Yeah. Runsetter crime scene. There we go. Interesting. Get him. Who are you? That was weird. He looks familiar. Give me a hard copy of that. And who's this guy? I don't know, but what's that on his shoulder there? Oh, shit. And how about, uh, maybe zoom in on the license plate of their car? Ah, good call. He looks familiar. You mean right here? What's that? What is that? Ah, uh, we can't zoom can't in. can't zoom in on that. All right. Can you zoom in on their car? Indeed we can. I love that we're changing angles, too. That's pretty impressive. A black ground yeah. car. Looks like it's been around the block a few times. Give me a hard copy of that. Okay. Yeah, zoom in on that plate there. Can't zoom in. Damn it. Good call, though. You gotta think like a crim, Dave. Is there anything that we could see here? What is he reading? I don't think it's going to enhance it any further. Hmm. No. Well, I guess it's unimportant. Okay. All right. Uh. All right. Upload your upload, upload your clues before. Clue there you database. go. Downloading mainframe clue database. Sweet. I do like clue downloading the entire mainframe clue database. All right. Uh, next up on character select, I uh, we're solving a mystery, and I like it. This is not what I expected Heck. at all. It's been a long time since I played an adventure game I didn't know, so this is really good. I love it. I'm down. But thank you very much for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below if you liked it. And Tyler. Dave. But if, why is this scanning nothing? Because you have to put your hand on it. It scans your hand. But it's wasting valuable power when it's scanning with no hand. Yeah, well, so is those fans. Fanning things that don't need to be fanned. I mean, that's objectively true.